Tonight, 11 people from Grand Rapids and Benton Harbor have been federally charged in a year-long investigation into deadly gun switches. They're devices that law enforcement agencies are especially concerned about as they continue to fight violent crime. News 8's Byron Tolleson has the details now from that investigation as the search for one of the suspects continues. By taking these gun switches off the streets, investigators believe they'll be saving countless lives. Investigators say that gun switches at the center of today's sprawling criminal indictment against nearly a dozen people in West Michigan can wreak havoc on communities. They pose an emerging, emerging threat to our communities, to our children, to our law enforcement officers, and to anyone who stands in the path of their indiscriminate spray. The devices can transform a normal Glock pistol into a fully automatic machine gun that can fire a thousand rounds a minute. To convert a firearm from firing a single shot to multiple shots uh, with one pull of the trigger. If you can imagine the dangers that that increases for both law enforcement and the community. They can be installed in less than a minute with little prior knowledge. Their destructive capacity is frankly staggering. That's why 11 people, three from Grand Rapids and eight from Benton Harbor, have been charged in a ring selling these switches. The federal indictment comes after an investigation that lasted for more than a year. Some of the suspects are accused of buying the switches from China or even 3D printing them and then selling them. These devices have been seen all over the United States. We've seen them here in Michigan as well. Investigators say others had switches attached to ghost guns, weapons without any serial numbers, making them difficult for police to track. Five suspects were arrested this morning, with more than 200 law enforcement personnel involved. Another five were already in custody. The last suspect, 23-year-old Eric Williams of Grand Rapids, is still on the loose. It's the purpose of the day, right? Is it to get the devices off the shelf? Is it to take bad guys off the street? U.S. Attorney Mark Totten says today's felony charges are an important step toward combating violent crime in Michigan. At the moment, these devices are not widespread, and we're going to do everything that we can to try to keep it that way. But their fight to keep enhanced weapons off the streets is far from over. And we need to find out, you know, where they're being manufactured, who's putting them out on the streets, and then go after those individuals so that we can kind of cut the source off so that more don't don't reach the streets. Williams, the last remaining suspect not in custody, is believed to be in Grand Rapids or Benton Harbor. If you see him, you're asked to call 911. In Benton Harbor, Byron Tollefson, News 8.